I will probably do another video on this, but I just wanted to bring it to your attention. California must consider banning home construction in fire-prone areas. Retiring Cal Fire Chief says, This Cal Fire Chief has been working with Jerry Brown for eight years, and, well, they're both stepping out of office. But California's increasingly deadly and destructive wildfires have become so unpredictable that government officials should consider banning home construction in vulnerable areas. Now, all of you who understand that they are reshaping our country into mega regions, the gray area, no human habitation, the colored areas are where they want all people to reside. And California is pushing oh so many methods to achieve the United Nations goal to get people into their mega regions. Now this is not only happening in the United States, it's happening across the world. It's unfortunate that people can't open their minds enough to even have a conversation about what is taking place in this country. And for you guys in California, wow. Uh, you, in facing so many who have a cement wall up, calling you names, calling you crazy conspiracy theorists, when you've got all of what is happening in California, oh my God, you must be unbelievably, excuse my French, rip shit. Um, this headline, same headline, after every disaster now, we saw these headlines after the fires last year in California, after Harvey, Houston, rebuilding or uh, renovating your flooded homes, well, it's going to take years because there's a labor shortage, insurance costs. And now, well, paradise, will they be able to rebuild? It's going to take years, and it could take years, for legislation to finally be passed that you can no longer build. You will be banned from any home construction in, well, the wildlands. So now we're hearing that term, the urban wildland interface. What? Uh... Well, that's the Wildland, Wildlands Project. Simulated reserve and corridor system to protect biodiversity, as mandated by the Convention on Biological Diversity, the Wildlands Project, United Nations, and the United States, Man and Biosphere Program, and various United Nations and United States Heritage Programs, and NAFTA. They don't want people in the red area, or the yellow area, or the green area. It's the gray area. And you could squint to see where people will be living. California, your mega region. Um, it's, it's become now maddening that people will not at least just open their minds enough to consider what it is we are saying. It is not climate change. It is not global warming. It is not because you happen to have a home that is in a mountainous area. Because if that were the case, you would have been seeing fire after fire after fire after fire all over the country with all of those homes in mountainous areas. Paradise. Well, you had homes there for decades and decades and decades, a long, long time. 
Now they're claiming, well, you can't do that anymore because you build a home in, in a mountainous area and you're going to bring about fire. So we've got to ban it. We've got to ban it. And do not think for one second that this won't go through in California because you have way too many people out in California who don't think anymore, who listen to their government officials like Jerry Brown and their fire chief and they just think, well, these people are in the know and they're experts, so what they say is right. I don't have to think for myself. I just have to repeat what they say. I don't have to do the research to find out that what they are saying is so a lie that it is an obvious one. Uh-uh. I don't even have to use logic. 14,000 plus homes brought to dust in 24 hours. I don't have to use logic. I just have to listen to my government official. That's okay with me. And facts and evidence? Irrelevant. My opinion is good enough. Okay, well, uh, we have an awful lot of people like that, and they are destroying us in the process. Rethinking subdivisions in thickly forested mountainous areas or homes along Southern California canyons. Los Angeles County Supervisor on Tuesday were considering whether to allow a 19,000 home development in fire-prone mountains and amid heavy criticism of the location's high fire danger. You know, when I think about you guys who do live in mountainous areas and they using all methods to get you out of those areas and into the mega regions. You guys need to realize that you could be next. No, I'm sorry. The gold, the uh, railway, there's so many different elements, so many variables that are taking place that for anybody to come out and definitively say this is why the fire happened and not including all of the possibilities or saying it's only conservative areas they want everyone out and into these mega regions they don't give a shit if you're conservative or liberal they don't care this is the ultimate goal right here your mega region and that is for ultimate control to control every aspect of your life uh, it's unfortunate that people will not do the research to find out that yeah they're using every method possible to get people out of the wildlands to return it to the bears and the wolves and and get everybody into the gray area on this map. Well, you're going to have to get close to the screen to see the gray areas. The Wildlands Project, with a goal of placing 50% of the United States into wildlands. I will link below to this site. It has a tremendous amount of information about Agenda 21, the Wildlands Project, uh, the Earth Charter, the consensus process, uh, those meetings that you have where you are facing all of those experts who are telling you, well, uh, this would be a good thing to do for uh, a sustainable city or a sustainable town. and They already know. They've got... <laughs> the decisions have been made. All of those meetings are... It's just this psyop to let you think that you have a say. You don't have a say 
the plans have been made. And one of the methods, you know, to get people out of these areas, the gray area, is to uh, have people um, find that they can't find any work, any work in the gray areas. Oh, but employment opportunities abound in the mega region areas. I can't tell you how many corporations are coming to Anderson, South Carolina, Piedmont, Atlantic area. You can't find work. Where are you going to go? You got to feed your kids, right? Your family. You go where the employment opportunities are, and they happen to be in the mega regions. All right. Um, so, yeah, they are. It's coming. It's coming. And I would not be surprised if those who survived the fire in paradise, that you won't be able to rebuild. And in the fires that took place last year, even my uh, subscriber in Houston, who got flooded out by Harvey, her home is still not done. The renovation still not completed. Isn't it more than a year after Harvey? Okay, well, uh, California already has the nation's most robust building requirement programs for new homes in fire-prone areas. For recent fire seasons, underscore, more is needed. Officials must consider prohibiting construction in particularly vulnerable areas. That is your fire chief who's working along with Jerry Brown. These two psychopathic liars who are the puppets getting their dictates from the United Nations to get those mega regions, get everybody into those mega regions. So it's uncertain if those decisions should be made by local land managers or at the state level as legislative leaders have suggested. We owe it to the homeowners, firefighters, and communities so that they don't have to keep going through what we are going through. Okay, they they set up the stage for animosity. Okay, all of those people who are not thinking for themselves and believing the fire chief, and Jerry Browns, and it's climate change, and it's because we've got too many people in homes in the urban wildland interface, and they need to be in areas where it's not prone um, for fires and and if you don't listen to them then you are you're responsible for keeping going these fires that are hurting firefighters and communities and homeowners they set up the um, circumstance where people will be attacking one another. They make it personal. We've got to continue to raise the bar on what we're doing and local land use planning decisions have to be part of that discussion. Pushing urban sprawl into mountainous subdivisions. Crippling drought. All you have to do is do the research to find out that it has been geoengineered that drought. It's not natural. They have brought it about. And in fact, you know, I'm going to post another video tomorrow. Um, there, there are already scientists coming out and saying global warming has nothing to do with these fires. But you're going to listen to Jerry Brown. And he claiming, you know, all the scientists around the world say global warming is true. And it's an outrageous lie. So please look into, look into whether or not 
he is lying because you live in a mountainous a mountainous area they're going to bring a fire to you too they will bring it about let me just tell you quickly no actually i'm going to post that tomorrow i had a conversation with a subscriber in chico who knows an awful lot of people who lost their home in paradise this is a subscriber who has been with me for years Kafka Winston World who I've spoken to often and her husband is a retired police officer they know police officers they know firefighters they know teachers um, she had a conversation with a teacher in paradise. Some of the information that we're hearing on other channels is not true. Uh, who they are getting their information from, uh, I don't know, but 50,000 people did not die and children were not burned to death in a bus. There's no, even speaking to a, uh, my subscriber, speaking to a teacher in paradise, she said she has not heard anything about that. She has spoken to other teachers. No one can confirm that. There, there was a bus or buses that had, well, they uh, decided to skip the regulations and just get as many kids into buses. They were sitting on laps. They were standing in the aisle to get them out of the fire. And they were successful. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my fire, my computer, but I'm so sick of this computer. Um, and it just keeps pausing. She said teachers were putting as many children into their cars to drive out. She has not heard of any students who didn't make it. That's not to say that everyone did. It is to say that she, having spoken to other teachers in paradise, they have not heard one student dying in this fire. Uh, when I heard the 50,000 dead, that was a claim that look people in the surrounding area would be paralyzed still if that was the case and they would know if 50,000 died Chico is now experiencing tremendous overpopulation the traffic in Chico is really horrendous because the survivors well Chico, Durham, Oroville those are three three areas that the survivors went to um, alright I'll mention quickly what was shared with me but I do want to do another video just because it's important information and yeah the shorter the better all right so before the fire there was heavy heavy cam trailing uh, going on every single day right before the fire PG&E shut off the power lines in Chico due to high winds and hours before in talking to this teacher who she lost her home um, Hours before the fire erupted, she heard what sounded like hail on her roof. Hail for forming. Conditions were not hail conditions. She even wondered if they were magnesium pellets. Now, my subscriber said, I'm not sure if she said pellets. She definitely said magnesium. I asked, did you ask? why she thought, why she even wondered about magnesium. She said, no, this woman lost her home. 
um, and is just now coming into okie dokie, something was very, very wrong here, and is asking a lot of questions, waking up. Um, so it's the shock of the loss of the home and and then realizing that this was not a natural fire. Um, so I asked my subscriber to ask other people that she knows in paradise if they heard hail, what sounded like hail falling. She also, this teacher also said she saw dust falling, dust. Her driveway was ripped up, like stripped. I guess they were redoing their driveway. It was dirt. She said her dirt was burning. And another neighbor said dirt was burning. Dirt. When you want to put out a fire, you throw dirt on the fire. The dirt was burning. She said at one point she tried to open a door. It was like a metal door. When she put her hand on the metal doorknob, she immediately withdrew her hand because it was so hot. But the fire hadn't reached her home yet. Metal conducts frequencies. No, it wasn't just smart meters. No, it wasn't just lasers. So many things happen um, in these events. It's not just one thing. And for anybody to come out definitively and state whatever it is, uh, they could only do that if they were someone in the know. Um, we can only speculate. We can do as much research as we possibly can. And frankly, even those on the ground, you know, you're just left to speculate because you're not in the know. So, as she was evacuating in her car, she saw home after home after home explode, one after the other. She got to a point, and cops were telling people to get out of their cars and run because the cars quit working and asked my subscriber, can microwaves make cars quit working? And I have said, I, I absolutely thought that they were. Now, it could be inadvertent or intentional to stop those cars. But even the high use of the frequencies, even to whip up the winds. I had my car in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, twice. It's like everything was dead. I thought it was the battery. It wasn't the battery. Because I went afterwards, well, one time a day after, and my car started right up. So, the use of the frequencies in this area was pretty, pretty intense, and yeah, those cars quit working. She said people had gas, they just, their cars, dead. And yeah, the people who got out and were in, probably didn't make it. Um, oh, she also said she saw blue streaks and took pictures. So I am hoping that my subscriber will be able to get those pictures. And if that's the case, I will post a video with those pictures. She also said that when she was leaving, she saw this transformer like lighting up. It was very shiny, almost like a silver glitter. And then it would be brought back down to a dull gray. Um, and there were rumors about a woman who was abandoned in an ambulance, a, a pregnant woman, because the ambulance caught on fire and then everybody abandoned her. That's not true. She was not abandoned. The ambulance did catch on fire. She was uh, taken out. They put her into a garage. And 
a nurse was staying with that woman. Men were hosing down the area to make sure that the fire wouldn't uh, get to them and a California Highway Patrol brought her to the hospital. The baby's fine, she's fine, the father is fine. So I do, I've, I've gotten a lot of comments from people and how they bold their comments, I don't know, but 50,000 dead, stop calling this a campfire. Um, I don't know where that information came from, but no one is saying that in Paradise or Chico. So I just wanted to get that information to you. Um, I will link below to the articles and Oh God, man, so much is happening. So much is happening, man. I hope you're all doing okay. Ciao, guys.